I mean, documentary is sort of like voyeurism. The people watching this, they don't see you, they are you. So therefore, they're just, someone right now is at their computer watching this right now, voyeuring in on my life. They are the voyeur. So you're making, you're breeding voyeurs, like you're making an army of voyeurs, even though I don't know how many people will actually watch this. But dozens, dozens. so like 24. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily Kaibach and I'm a, I'm a filmmaker and we're riding a taxi in Montreal. I was going to take you to uh, the loft space called Labsynthes. It was my first home here. We had music shows, we had art shows, we had film screenings. It wasn't just about going to some cool party but actually being involved in a community and this sort of like golden dream of everyone helping everyone and collaborating. If you were to be interviewed, you'd be like, oh yeah, my friend Grimes and, and cool music and and doldrums and tonsor banner and blue Hawaii and braids and, and you talk about each other and in that you would build up each other and I think that's what my music video sort of did. Is this a daycare? No, it's a gym slash daycare. Oh, it's a gym daycare, okay, cool, yeah. yeah. That's where I got my start in film was in that loft space, writing little scripts for performances which turned into me documenting the performances with my own camera which turned into like you know, documentary, and then that turned into music videos. When Evan Persofsky moved to Montreal, a uh, cinematographer that I, I frequently collaborate with, he had a grant from Alberta for his film Water Park. He basically was like, I've already paid for that film out of pocket. I want to do something new with this money. So we had 10 grand and I was like, I have all these ideas for music videos I want to make. Uh, like, do you want to shoot them and we can shoot them on film? He was just really strangely confident for someone with basically no experience. <laughs> and um, somehow, I don't know what it was, but she I don't know if she even had to talk me into it, really, because I wanted to. And uh, those videos sort of launched our career for him as a cinematographer and myself as a director. It was just a good thing of timing. Like, our friends just happened to start making really amazing music. Claire was like an old friend of mine, and she just started, like, she made visions, like, in her bedroom on GarageBand, and, like, I had known her for a long time and I remember listening to her EP on the bus that she gave me on my phone and just getting goosebumps and texting her being like, I have to make you a music video. And then Evan showing up and him being like, I have all this money, <laughs> like, hey, let's do this. So it was just like, you know, good friends making really good music that ended up being an international standard of like excellent music. All their careers launched, like Claire, like, you know, obviously through the roof with Grimes. And then like Eric's doing super well with Doldrums. And like, it goes on, like I think Arbutus, the record label that came out of Labsynthes, was sort of the second phase after we got shut down, kind of turned it into a record label representing all these different bands. And uh, so that's just been really exciting to witness that. Yeah. Arbutus started in 2009 when Labsynthes shut down, which was the space that Emily ran along with some other people, <laughs> Sebastian, who runs the label. I designed this, uh, record label. I also designed the logo, the Arbutus Records logo of the tree. So this is all going all over the world now, all from this little little cocoon of music that kind of like blossomed into this, you know, full-fledged butterfly or whatever that's now like flocking all over the planet. I've been making art my whole life. If they were in videos, they were like paintings or sculptures or drawings or installations or mixed media collage or like mixed media installation or like found art or photography or just going out like art school and stuff you're constantly told to generate and generate and generate and then get critiqued and critiqued and critiqued so I was like had maybe like 15 years of art making under my belt <laughs> like since I was 10. 
I get these ideas and it's like this fierce vision I have of exactly what I want. It could be I can see it in my mind completely and I don't know where those come from initially. Like maybe it's like a vision from God or something, but I feel like I see it so vividly and I want to create exactly what I see. So I get very, it has to be exactly like it is in my head. And I like try to push all the elements into um, creating the, that result. The Grimes and Cool Music, those videos were like, yeah, 20 minutes of film each, so that was like really fierce shooting. With money comes like flexibility. Now that like our budgets are getting bigger and we have more resources and more film to buy or more time, you can be open to like other things, but I think we were very desperate at first. I don't know, I like this idea of like something that's supposed to be like God's grace, supposed to be like boundless and stuff, and this idea of it being behind this like cage. With this like church storeroom, it's sort of interesting. We'll shoot something and she'll be like, oh yeah, that was totally because of this. And I was like, oh really? I just thought it was because like the fire looked nice at twilight. And she's like, no, 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 it's all this. <laughs> and it's like got it all planned already, which I just find so rare. So often these days, especially with what I do, a lot of it's music videos. Mm -hmm. So often of it is just all about spectacle. There's no reason behind it. They just go, yo, you should just film. You should just film this, it looks cool which is fine, but it's not as gratifying. It's nice to work with Emily because she actually, there's a rhyme to her reason. I paid him to say that. Maybe. I'll send you the check in the mail oh, good. to yeah, Russia. Please. This is all fake and illusion. <laughs> this is not documentary because the idea of documentary is still like through the perception of, of a documentary filmmaker, of an artist, of, an, of, a, of a gaze, of a lens. It was the night before Hurricane Sandy, so there was this gorgeous wind happening with, on Angel's hair. So I was like, look at the camera, and then I got like 48 frames, and we're just going back and forth, pushing in, pushing out, super fast. Okay. Okay. I listen to it a lot. Uh, uh, editing, you, know, you have to listen to it. If I made music for other people, then it wouldn't be about me, and it wouldn't be real. I mean, the I essentially, they're, 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 re they're really talking. This is really their opinions, and I'm chopping it up, obviously. So it's like, it's just amazing, like, the creative treatment of actuality or whatever. It's like, you can do so much. Y'all should be glad I pushed my mixtape back. Y'all Sound design is another huge medium of like exploration that I feel like I'm just discovering now that I've like mo I've moved away from music videos slightly or taken a step back. Like last year I made like nine music videos and this year I've like made like two or three and I've like said no to a lot because I like I really want to get more into sound design or, or like within fiction. Oh, just because sound c contextualizes images big time. The problem with, with music videos is that you're given one music track and then whatever images you, you shoot for, you, you obviously have to be thinking about the track. Sometimes I'll set, I'll be, I'll be wearing earbuds, listening to the song again and again as we're filming, thinking about like the mood within the track and how it's going to shape the images and then obviously the images, like they, there's a conversation happening there, but like, um, yeah, just having freedom where it's like I can ch maybe choose a different track or I can have just like ambient sounds of like, you know, wind <laughs> and no music and then or someone just talking, like someone whistling on the you know, walking and so I just feel like that would be really fun to explore. Hopefully that's the next thing when I make my short film, which I'm working on now. Which is gonna play a lot with sound, which I'm excited for.